Hi, I'm Mike Owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do the Black Friday Record Store Day showing. I'm pretty sure this is most of what is left over of the list, but there is still stuff coming in. There's still stuff that I'm going to have at the store that I'm not going to be showing to you just because of timing. This stuff came so late this year, I didn't really have much of a time, you know, much time to do this earlier like normal. A lot of this stuff was last minute, and that's just really due to supply chain issues. The reason most of these titles have been pushed back delayed and or canceled you know the list started out probably about 40 percent larger than this is because they can't get these records manufactured so everything i'm going to show you will be available in the store on black friday the 26th we open the doors locally at nine o'clock i'm going to live stream the entire event just like last time nine o'clock we're going to open the door we're going to have a live stream on the youtube channel from open to close i've had a lot of fun with that personally the last one was great. Unfortunately, it was taken down due to a 13, 14 second snippet of a DG's record playing in the background. I am going to upload that if I can ever get a computer that can process a 12 hour movie. It's been pretty difficult. Uh, but I'm gonna have this up, make sure there's no DG's playing in the background to prevent any copyright strikes from taking place. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Now, all of this, that doesn't sell in the store. And keep in mind, there's gonna be a significant amount of this because certain titles, I've got so many, there's just no way I'm gonna sell it all locally. And that goes for a lot of these titles. So all of that stuff will be on our website the day after. So that's Saturday at eight o'clock Eastern time. I think that's six o'clock Arizona time. So eight o'clock a.m. in the morning on the 6th, or on the 20th, on Saturday, what is that, 25th, 26th, 27th, on the 27th, that stuff is gonna be on the website. Right on the front page, you're gonna see uh, the record store day category. And that's where this stuff will be. So yeah, if you're local, come on in and check us out. If you're not able to make it to a record store, feel free to shop mine. That's www.theingroove.com. Okay, so where do I start? I guess let's start with the not records. That would be cassettes, which I've pretty much found a home now at, you know, there was a cassette store day. I don't. I don't know if they even had that last year, but we're seeing some of that stuff merge into Record Store Day. JD McPherson. I don't know why I grabbed two of these. This is called Socks. Local Natives. Exceptionalism. Aerosmith, the road starts here. They're doing this on vinyl as well. I'll show it to you. And Jamie Lydell. All right. A couple CDs as well. Little Feet. This is a live concert from 1974, Ultrasonic Studios. There's actually a vinyl version of this. Charlie Parker's Bird in L.A. looks really good. There's a vinyl version of this. Couple of seven inches. This will be by far and away the hottest. I did an unboxing of this. Billy Eilish's. This is a demo from No Time to Die. And the live version from the Brit Awards. Cool James Bond kind of theme cover with her face. Pretty cool. I love, love, love how we're not being inundated with seven inches. I know I mentioned this on every single Record Store Day video, but it is a fantastic thing now. Pink Lincolns, Pussifer, Billy D. What do we got here? Tyranny Tough. And we got a couple of 10 inches. This actually looks pretty good. Sam Cooke with the Soul Stirrers, the first mile of the way. So two 10 inches. Uh, complete performance from 1955. This is essentially is his first recordings. All restored to their all restored to their original undub, unedited glory for the first time. This actually looks pretty good. Actually, this is a trifold, maybe. I think it's a yeah, it's a triple disc trifold. This actually looks really good. Yeah. A lot of this, guys, I'm seeing for the first time. I ordered this stuff so long ago, I've actually forgot. 90% of what's here, and I didn't process this. My wife, Angel, did most of the processing on this, so a lot of the stuff I'm seeing for the first time. Renditions one. 
a Northex Point Never. They had a couple Record Store Day releases last time. I'm sure I butchered that name up a little bit, but Charlie Parker, Bird in LA. This Universal product, what is this? One, two, three, four LPs. So essentially, this is a bunch of a concert, bunch of concerts up to the 50s. Looks pretty good. Pretty limited from the hype, if I remember correctly. This actually is something I'm probably going to grab. You know, and this is, you would think I'd have these album, albums, but the Art Pepper, the Artist House recordings, these albums are extremely diff difficult to find. I don't think I have any of these. So essentially, you've got uh, the New York album, Stardust, Artworks, and So In Love. I think I have So In Love, actually. I think some of this stuff might be, yeah, unreleased. Expanded tracks, demos, take, alternate takes. Doesn't talk about any mastering information on there. Other than it was mastered by Michael Graves from the original album. Analog tapes and then cut by Jeff Powell. So, you know, could be all analog. Could be analog digital and then cut from the digital file. I am not sure, but not very many of those and they're going to sell quick. Americana Railroad, John Fogarty, new, 19 newly recorded railroad songs, David Alvin, Peter Case, and John Fogarty. Let's see, yeah, well, that's, that's a bunch of railroad songs, yeah. All right, Dream Until Your Dreams Come True. I'm curious what this is going to sound like. So this is their first known recordings, and what looks cool here is you got 1971, there's Dream On is on here as well. So I'm curious what this sounds like. I don't know if it's all previously unreleased, so I've never heard it. I'm guessing most people haven't. It's probably even bootlegged, who knows. But uh, curious what that sounds like. Broken social scene, feel good lost. Pretty nice, really limited. Limited to number to 2500, this is 1601. Looks like a nice double disc with that plastic fold over that it slides into. Try to make a little more space here. Big Brother in the Holding Company. So, Monterey, live at Monterey Pop Festival. This actually looks quite good. 1967, June 18th. Nice tip on jacket. Remastered from the original analog tape and pressed on Monterey Purple Vinyl. This is really reminiscent look, feel, and probably manufactured by the same folks as the Who concert that was uh, put out last year. Big Mama Thornton, Sassy Mama, live at the Rising Sun Celebrity Jazz Club. She's doing Hound Dog, I'm probably gonna have to grab this too. This looks pretty good, she's doing Watermelon Man, Herbie Hancock's Watermelon Man. She's doing Hound Dog. Yeah, this looks good. She's fantastic. Blackberry Smoke, Stoned. Let's see, recorded, mixed, and mastered in one take at the Welcome to 1979 Studios. That would be a Chris Mara's studio. He actually did the analog tape transfers on the Wild Times record that I've got coming out. What do we got here? Blexed, just for charity. I'm sure that's wrong. Yeah, 12-inch single. Chet Baker, Albert's House. This is on Liberation Hall. Rich Bryan. Amen. What do we got here? This looks pretty good. Memphis Slim and the Memphis Horns. On like a, is that like a baby blue vinyl? Larry Coriel. This is uh, looking pretty good too. And the 11th house at Monterey. I oh, yeah, this this list has actually gotten a lot of heat as not being that good. But you know, as I'm starting to look through this, and I, I put a lot of these out, so I kind of saw some stuff. Canned heat, friends in the can. Friday music. 
And there's some solid, for as few titles that actually came out on this record store day, there's some solid titles. This actually looked good, too. I saw this earlier. Live in Stockholm, Ray Charles, 1972. You know, I've got a woman, what I say. I'm guessing that's pretty good. Ray at uh, kind of in his prime still. Let's see. An original film soundtrack to Cherry. Double disc. Chef Kef. Thought Breaker. Let's see. Jackson Conti. Let's see. 2LP. Been getting a lot of calls on this one. This is uh, Leonard Cohen. Songs of Love and Hate. 50th Anniversary Edition. Includes a 12 by 12 booklet with lyrics. All right, Chick Corea and Lionel Hampton. Now they're good. I mean, the jazz stuff is really where it's at <laughs> with these record store days. They're getting better and better with the jazz titles. Live in the uh, concert, 1978. Actually hand numbered on the back. This is copy 396. This is recorded in France. Crowbot, Rat Child. Dire Straits Encores. This is another title that I've been getting a ton of phone calls on. Hall and Oats. What is this? I have not seen this yet. Numbered. Same as that. This copy is uh, 417. Recorded in the throes of their Philadelphia folk rock phase during the late 60s. This is a record collection of rare early recordings. So early, early stuff. Every year they do these Dio releases and typically they're like 12 inch singles and they're never that popular, but these are actually, they're two picture discs, but they're actually albums people want and they're not that I mean, limited to 7,500. So, you know, you got the last in line full album, and then you've got Holy Diver, two titles that are not in print, so this is going to fill a need for a lot of people who don't have the album, and man, the originals are hard to find and not cheap anymore. Rob Dickinson, Fresh Wine for the Horses, limited to 2,000 copies. Miles Davis, Live Evil, great album, did an unboxing video on this, you guys can check out. Evanescence, Self-Titled. Limited to 8,000 worldwide. This is Purple Smoke Vinyl. Eric Essex, Songs from the Deep. Here's another title that's going to be really popular. Every one of these in the past have. They've been doing these alternative Fleetwood Mac albums for some time. But uh, this is Alternate Live. This is kind of cool because it's essentially just other, other recorded tracks. They've just made another concert out of it. Tav Falco, Glen Cub. Glenn, Club Gun Sar. The Gun Club, live at the Starwood, 1981, Hollywood, California. Gold colored vinyl. Joe Strummers, Johnny Appleseed, Dark Horse Records. John Carpenter's Ghost of Mars. Did some unboxing videos on some of this stuff. This Jimi Hendrix, Live in Paris. I've been so busy, I didn't even listen to this. And I've done these, you know, I did these three days ago. Maybe tomorrow. John Hicks Trio. Idris Muhammad. Actually, this looks pretty good. I've not heard this, but yeah. Actually, this looks really good. This is done by Light in the Attic. And they're also talking to... They're really doing some avant-garde stuff, of course. You know, Chet Baker are breaking not, but Eastern Rebellion. There's some good titles that they're doing lately. Soundtrack to How to Train Your Dragon. My wife took one of these, did a little dance when she opened the box. It's pretty entertaining. She was happy to see it. 
Shreeman J. Hawkins, Little Shop of Horrors. Chris Isaac, Beyond the Sun. Bunch of sun recordings. Jason Isbell and the 400 unit. Georgia Blue. Double disc. Pitcher disc, the Iron Giant. Not a picture disc fan, but this is a pretty cool looking picture disc. Iron Maiden self titled album. Ooh, the Insomnioid soundtrack. I've not seen this movie. It looks like it's an awful movie, right, by the cover. Doesn't this look just awful? But I really want to hear the soundtrack. It looks, looks like that might be quite good. Johnny Johnson, first time on vinyl, featuring Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, and members of NRBQ. Hmm. Produced by Keith Richards. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The best of Judas Priest, with an embossed cover and splattered vinyl. That'll be pretty hot. Couple versions of this. Jormica Cohen, Christmas. Looks like it's the same album. Two different color vinyl discs and two different covers. There's another title that looks quite good. Carol King in concert live at the BBC, 1971. You make me feel like a natural woman so far away. I feel the earth move. Looks pretty good. Go nicely with your Carol King tapestry one step that uh, is soon to be uh, released here in the next couple of weeks, maybe a month, hopefully. Who knows? King's X. I know it's soon. Please come home. Katie Lang, all you can eat. James Lebray. Elements of Persuasion, released on Yellow Wax. Little Feet, this is the vinyl version of the CD that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Really well done. Rhino release, nice textured cover. Looks good. Original soundtrack to Life Aquatic. Lana Del Rey, Chemtrails Over the Country Club. This is the Record Store Day exclusive version with the alternate cover. Lyra Lynn, Live and Unplugged from Vinyl Tap. John Legend, once again. 15th Anniversary Gold Vinyl Edition, double disc. Barry Maguire, Eve of Destruction, first time reissued in 40 years. Limited edition LP, only a thousand copies. This is on Elemental. Matata, Independence. Ooh, this looks good. Might have to take this too. Only a thousand copies. Rare Kenyan Afrobeat Funk album from 1974. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Look at that cover. This is on Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave is the name of the label. Looking good, looking good. Modern English, After the Snow. At Home with the Monsters. Ah, there's some cool stuff in this list. A Night with TV's Most Unusual Family. It has a little die cut cover. Yeah. Mob Depp. Maxwell, now. 20th anniversary edition on Rupier Brown vinyl. 
Mr. Big, lean into it. Only 5,000 copies individually numbered on solid red vinyl. That's a pretty cool uh, little sticker. 2,004 of these. Oh, excuse me, 2,004 of 5,000. Kind of little hologram sticker. Motorhead, The Lost Tapes, Volume 1, unreleased live album. A blistering live set from the Sacrifice album tour. Recorded in uh, 1995 in Spain. Magma, BBC 1974. Music on vinyl, this is number two. Or excuse me, this is... Uh, <laughs> Okay, riddle me this. So this is limited edition of 1,500 individually numbered copies on red transparent colored vinyl. And I have number 1,877. So I'm guessing uh, we got a little typo somewhere. Or you might be getting the rare one-off copy that's over 1,500, but I doubt it. Willie Nelson, Big Hits Live. Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, and Ray Price. From the Last of the Breed Tour. Non Fixin. The Green LP. They are doing a picture disc, Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tears. Oscar Peterson, A Time for Love. That's, that's actually really nice. I did an unboxing of this. Still haven't listened to it. Bobby Rush, Chicken Heads. Dave Von Ronk, Hear Me How, Live 1964. Reverend Horton Heat, We Three Kings, Christmas Favorites on limited edition red vinyl. And it includes a download card. You know, Run Run Rudolph, Silver Bells, Jingle Bells. All right, Healing, Todd Rundgren, 5,000 on clear vinyl. This actually looks pretty good. Not something I'd normally pick, but just because of the way it was done and who did it, I'm going to get this. This is the Staple Singers. 25th day of December from 1962, but this is all analog mastering from the original tapes by Jeff Powell at Take Out Vinyl. You know, a nice heavy-duty tip-on jacket. Looks well done, not that expensive. Going to give that a listen. Teddy Swims. A very Teddy... Christmas. All right, whatever that is on Warner Records. Smith Cotton, Better Days. Squirrel Nut Zippers. Lost Songs of Doc Scouchon. Saigon Kick, The Lizard. Limited to 2,500 copies. Real Gone Music. Styles P. Float. We're getting into some off the wall stuff now. Son Sons of Kismet, African Cosmology. That might actually be good on Impulse. I actually got an original of this not too long ago in that collection. I think I showed it on YouTube. This is a great album. Tammy Terrell, The Irresistible. They're only doing 1,200 copies of this. Elemental Music. All right. Chris Travis. All right. He's uh, giving you guys the bird. Double disc. This, I want to keep this. I, it's not something musically that interests me, but this is one of the absolute coolest covers I've ever seen on a vinyl record. Check this out. It is an emboss, embossed metallic foil cover. This is Thundercat, the golden age of Apocalypse with this like hologram cat logo in the middle. Even the hype sticker is gold. This is on translucent red vinyl. 
This just looks awesome. I mean, it's such a cool cover. All right, Trippy Reed, a love letter to you. Man, this feels like a maybe a triple. A lot of discs in here. It's heavy. U2's Gloria, 40th anniversary edition. Includes original studio versions plus three live versions from three different decades, two previously unreleased, plus a large poster. So all the Gloria you could ever want. Or maybe not. Uroy, Creation Rebel. What do we got here? Wailing Souls, little reggae at the back. Colored vinyl version. Thought it might have been texture, but now that's a little wrinkling on the shrink. The Wrens, 25th anniversary of their sophomore album, pressed on cherry red vinyl. The Wonderful World of Louis Armstrong. What is this here? He's essentially doing Wonderful World, and it's this EP, essentially, four tracks on there. Weird Al Yankovic. Ashka Popstar. Beat on the Brat. Live bonus tracks. Beat on the Brat and a bunch of live bonus tracks. Puts Creek Bop. A bunch of Ramones-related stuff. And last, this is a comp heavy psychedelic funk and soul ballad from 70 to 75. Tickets for Doomsday. All right, guys, nine o'clock, we open Black Friday. All this stuff will be available online starting at eight o'clock Eastern time on the website, www.theingroove.com, right on the front page. Until next time.